Am I the asshole? For not letting my daughter to go over to my sill's house after her kids dumped my daughter's bindi bag. Repost since I accidentally posted this on my main account and I'm pretty sure my sill uses Reddit. I am South Asian and my husband Luke and the rest of his family are white. We have a beautiful daughter, Amara who has decided to start wearing bindis in day-to-day -day life two months ago before anyone asks, no I didn't pressure her into this decision. This was all on her own and I don't even wear bindis daily. I helped her buy a bindi bag and Amara had carried it around with her whenever she'd be gone from home from more than a day ever since. Last weekend, I let Amara go to my Sil Bree's house. Bree has two kids, Danielle and Chase. Saturday afternoon, Amara called me crying and told me that Danielle and Chase had been teasing her about the dots on her forehead since Friday. That morning, Danielle and Chase had grabbed the bag out of her room and dumped it into the pool as a prank. It sank to the bottom, and since Amara can't swim, she wasn't able to grab it. Amara went to Bree and told her what happened, and Bree took Danielle and Chase's side, saying it was kids being kids and that they did Amara a favor with that prank. I comforted my daughter over the phone, and went to go pick her up soon after Amara said she didn't want to be at Bree's house anymore. Once I got there, I helped Amara put her bag into the trunk before going to Bree to confirm the story. Bree confirmed it, and doubled down on what she said hard. I was irritated at that and soon left with Amara. When we got home, I told Luke what happened and he suggested not having Amara go over to Bree's house until Bree apologizes for saying that the kids did Amara a favor by throwing her bindi bag into the pool, and the kids apologize for the incident itself. I agreed with that being a good idea, but checked to make sure Amara was okay with it first. Amara said that she doesn't even want to see her cousins or aunt now anyways, so I sent Bri a text explaining that Amara wouldn't be coming over under they all apologize. I didn't get a response at first, but when I did, Bri was telling me that was unfair and that I was punishing her and her kids over a dumb prank. I just replied that I just want an apology for my daughter and that should be a simple request. Bri didn't reply back but my mill ended up calling me and telling me that I was horrible for not letting Bree see her niece and that both Amara and I needed to get over the incident when I explained Amara doesn't want to be around Bree or her kids either. Luke is on my side with this, but my mill won't stop texting about how I need to just let this go and let bygones be bygones. Edit I ended up editing this since I accidentally used my husband's real name a few times due to getting angry while writing this post. Not the asshole, good for sticking up for your kid. Your mill is enabling racist bullying. On a different note, it would be good to teach Amara to swim. It's a good life skill to have. Not the asshole. But OP you might want to edit the second half of your post, since I think you used your husband's real name and not Luke. Not the asshole. TBF I had to look up Bindi, but based on what I read, they were mocking her heritage in a violent downright racist manner. They owe you a massive apology and Mill needs to realize just how vile and humiliating it was. Not the asshole the girl's behavior was horrible, and similarly the one of your sill and mill. However I have a question who is 4x. Not the asshole. Bree is raising her kids to be bullies and racist. Good riddance. Not the asshole. You need to tell mill straight to keep her beak out of this. This is nothing to do with her. You are right to insist that sill and her brats apologize. Not that it will make any difference as Amara has already decided she will not be going back. Not the asshole. I'm not going to subject my daughter to blatant racism harassment, family or not. Not the asshole, you're a good mom for standing by your daughter. Good on your husband for sticking to your side as well. Bree and Mill are both childish and disrespectful. Not the asshole. But please make sure your daughter learns how to swim. Not the asshole, your sister-in-law is, at best, not a very nice person. 
Aside please make sure your daughter learns to swim it's an important life skill and only gets harder to learn the older you are my granny learned at 60, it took her ages. Not the asshole, shame on them, and also there is really no need to meet cousins one doesn't like. Also as an Indian though, info what is a bindi bag? Never heard of it in my life all of which has been spent in India. Not the asshole. Sil is a racist raising her kids to be racist brats too. No wonder she ran to mummy to dob. What a vile woman. I'd keep my daughter well away from her. Everyone else has said the other important stuff, but I am concerned your daughter can't swim. That is an important life skill. If this happened outside of the family setting it could be reported as a racial hate crime. Why should you treat it any differently? Not the asshole. Not the asshole and if anything has been ruined Sil should be paying to replace. What if they did a prank and set fire to something would she still say it's kids being kids? You don't need those racist people in your life. Your sister-in-law and her children are horrible, horrible people. Racists, bigots, and bullies. You're not the asshole at all. Not the asshole. Others have made the relevant comments. All I want to add is that let bygones be bygones only happens after an apology. Rapprochement like that is not one-sided. Shame on your sil for doubling down on the bullying, intolerance and shaming. What favor were they doing her? Getting her ready to face racism in the real world? Okay. Not the asshole at all. What is a bindi bag? Not the asshole. I cannot get over Bree saying they did her a favor. Fuck her and fuck her vile kids. Not the asshole at all. Your husband needs to tell Mill that her granddaughter is upset and that she doesn't want to go. Not the asshole. You should also let your husband deal with his mother racists always default to the role of victim when called out and she will more than likely continue to guilt trip you. Not the asshole at all. That racist BS isn't even thinly veiled. Calling it a prank is so obviously a cover it sickens me. Cousins lit a match, Sylph and the flames, they burned the bridge and now what you to fix it lol. Not the asshole, stay away. They can stay on their side of the river until they can apologize. She is teaching her kids bad morals. Edit not the asshole. Nata, since your mill supports racist behavior, go ahead and drop her ass too, unamused face. Not the asshole but why can't your daughter swim at 14 years old? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your sister-in-law is being a jerk. Notar what they did was a racist hate crime. Absolutely not the asshole. This is all about respect, and I'm sorry to say that both your sill and mill are lacking it, as are your sill's children. Not the asshole. They're all a pack of bullies. Not the asshole, and I join those voting for swim lessons for your daughter. Apart from obviously being fun and healthy activity, that might save her life one day.